All right, guys, so this video is for teachers who want to better their PowerPoint skills and also people that are working on kind of do-it-yourself birthday party. So I'm going to show you guys how to make some pretty cool images like you see here, kind of custom-made um, stuff that you can use uh, for your theme on your birthday party. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your PowerPoint slide size is appropriate for the paper that you're going to be using to print it out. So you're going to want to go to design. You're going to want to go to slide size. And here you can custom your uh, slide size. So uh, the regular one, if you're using regular paper, uh, make sure you click on portrait and that will give you kind of this type of uh, size that works best with kind of, again, regular size paper. So the first thing you want to do is pretty simple. So you're going to go to Google Images and you're going to want to uh, get some backgrounds or some images. So this is the one I chose just because it has the white. As you're going to see right now, I'm going to actually remove the white around it. And uh, you can do it with other uh, other images as well. It's a little harder, uh, but it's the same process. It just um, doesn't come out as well sometimes. So let's go ahead and simply copy and paste this. So you're just going to copy the image. Go back here to your PowerPoint. And we're going to go ahead and copy and paste it. Make sure you copy it as a picture. So you're going to click on it, right? So as you can see here, it has kind of white on there. And what you do is you double click it. Okay. Now mine's a little different because it's hiding some of the ribbons. So make sure it says uh, show tabs and commands. Okay. So you're going to double click it. And we're going to go ahead and get rid. I'm going to click on remove background. And that will allow you to get rid of some of the background. But as you can see here, obviously some of their faces are missing. So you're going to go to mark areas to keep. It's going to give you this little pencil-like object here. And using this, when you click on the parts that you want to keep, it will allow you to keep the parts of the image that you want to keep. So make sure that you keep all the stuff that you want. Okay. So it's pretty good right there. So you put keep changes. And now you have yourself an image without the white in the background. Okay, so now we need a background to make it look a little more fancier. So you can just put, you know, something like frozen backgrounds, you know, and you can put whatever you want on the back of here. So let's say we wanted to use this image, which is not the best one. Now, when you're choosing an image, make sure that you go to tools. Okay, so you click tools and you go to large, okay, because the large images are going to have better quality. Okay, so let's say we wanted to use this one. It's actually a cooler one, I think. So we're going to put it on here, and again, you're going to paste it as a picture. So this is the image you get, so make sure you size it up as you want it. Okay, and then you're going to click on it or double click, and you're going to right click, and you're going to put send to back. Okay, so this will allow you to put this first image in the front, okay? So let's say you wanted to get rid of this part right here. Um, one of the things you can do actually is you can double click, double click it and you can crop it out. Okay, so you just drag it over here. If you don't want that part on there, just kind of click on the side and boom, there you have, you know, a more cool looking image here. You know, obviously for PowerPoints when teaching, I definitely use this tool a lot. Uh, but let's say you wanted some text now, okay? So one of the cool kind of websites that I use it's called Cool Text Graphics Generator. Okay, so again, Cool Text Graphics Generator. And this has all sorts of different fonts that you could use. Okay, so uh, for example, for the Frozen one, I use the Ice Cube one. So you can just put whatever, uh, let's say Anthony's B Day or whatever, you know, you want to put on there. And then you're going to go to, you're going to click Create Logo. Okay. And then you're simply going to right click, copy image, go over here, and then you're going to right click again, paste it on here. And you see how it has the black? So actually, you don't copy this one as a picture. You put um, the keep source format. And then it might take a while sometimes with the image. But even if it, it has a black on there, you know, like I showed you guys how to remove the background, you can always just remove the background from it um, if it kind of takes a while. But it, it should work. Uh, let me see. Um, try that again. Copy image. So let's go here on that. More open. So again, keep source format. All right. So there we go. So now we have, um, you know, we have it without the black. So you just go back on here. 
you just copy it 